This might shock and amaze you, but I will destroy Joe Frazier. X-Man stands on the rail and faces the press area as if to make a statement like, who didn't believe in me? And I said, Joe's going to come out smoking, and I ain't going to be joking. I'll be pecking and a-poking, pouring water on his smoking. Then this might shock and amaze you, but I will destroy Joe Frazier. for disqualification. Stop! Stop! In a round and a half. And it'll be interesting to see what penalty this draws from referee Dale Grable. He's going to deduct another point, I think, from French Nassim. Grable wants Soto's people out of the corner. Times like this, you would like the commissioners to get in and have a little powwow with the referee and let him see exactly where he's coming from. And now Prince Nassim seems to suddenly have decided that he needs to take this into his own hands. He doesn't have a chance to throw another, so he... And there's the classic Nassim oh, counter. Soto leaning in to try to land something, Wait. and Naz. Wait. One, two for Hamed. Maybe Ooh. Naz can do this. The Naz came in with a slight uppercut this time. Well, in order to get a knockout, you just can't just get in the ring and get a knockout. The other guy has to try to knock you out, and you get him. Nassim, with his most spirited flurry in a while, lands two or three big punches. For the winner and still undefeated from Sheffield, England, he is the WBO, WBC featherweight champion of the world, Prince Hatsib Hatman. When the fight is over, the crowd boos. You're here to please the crowd. Yeah, yeah. How do you take that? Being honest with you, I'm not upset about it. I may be a little bit disappointed at this moment in time, but what the hell, I'm the WBC, WBO featherweight champion of the world. The Executioner, Hopkins! Wait a second. Oh, there's a left hand that got in on Pavlik. That's been the issue that we were talking about. Pavlik, don't be surprised when you start seeing the shoulder movement. Oh, Hopkins got to him. He sure did. Sneaky right yep. hand, and then he's out of Those there. Those things hurt. It shows you that Pavlik is just pawing out there. Right hand again. Jet. Another right hand. Hit the round. Antonio Carver in the recent time, as far as uh, totally disrobing. Oh, he's hurting Pavlik now with comment. And then he does the bolo punch. Pavlik's in trouble, and Hopkins knows it. He knows it. 30 seconds. It's a long time left in round seven. Hopkins put the pressure on. Big right hand. 
What a show. He had no points to give. Nope. Big right hand there over the top of that non-existent left. Look at the left hand also by Hoffman. And it looks like uh, he will climb that mountain. Lost a controversial decision to Joe Oh, big right hand. And Pavlik's in big trouble. And Hopkins close the show in grand style. That's that, coming down to the final bell. All that's left is to tally it up. A little bad blood at the end there. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Too bad for this because it was a... The x man stands on the rail and faces the press area as if to make a statement like, who didn't believe in me? The two-time champion and future Hall of Famer, Renan, the executioner. Atomic clock accuracy for Floyd Mayweather. And there's the putt shot, straight right hand down the middle. Public enemy number one of the Southpaw. He must have got a pep talk from Freddie Roach to not let Floyd Mayweather be comfortable. But the only problem with that is that Floyd is answering him, landing straight rights. Lead right hand and a flurry at the right end of the round for an illuminating turn of events. In between rounds, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Good counter right cross by Mayweather. Maybe Manny's aggressiveness, who knows? So hey, they're only human. How much does the crowd impact them? With every Manny Pacquiao attack, even punches that are, are blocked or deflected or don't land. And there's Mayweather using his footwork, drawing boost, but stop, stop. hey, that's the name of the game. game. This fight has been exciting, and it's only the fifth round. Manny's being patient, and he's landing a few jabs. Oh, there's a jab that caught Pacquiao off balance. Looking at Pacquiao going downstairs with the left hook. Another left hand to the body, the jab. Under a minute and a half left in the eighth round. Good pull counter, right hand. Mayweather trying to set oh. the trap with the jabs. Oh. There's another lead, couple of lead left hooks that plug the side of Pacquiao's head under a minute left in the eighth. No surprise to see him ringside. Round 11, Mayweather on the attack with that right hand. Now a more aggressive Mayweather here. 10 seconds remain in our fight of the century. Mayweather sensing that he has done enough. Pacquiao on the attack, but the final bell has gone. Floyd Money Mayweather. The Tijuana Tornado, Antonio. Tony Margarito. Well, the thing that he is doing effectively is he's putting pressure on it, and he felt that. I'm telling you, Cintron felt that right to the body. It's not helping him to have it down. He's not it's helping not himself offensively. Tremendous uppercut by Margarito. They duel to the body. Good body shots. He's on his way down. He was bent over from that, that left hook to the body. There's one that went a little bit low. Yeah. Doesn't get a reprieve. If Margarito keeps the pressure on Cintron. I think he's cut. Eye, yes. Left eye, Margarito. Left eye. He is down. Good right hand. But this is about the point in the first fight, and there you see Cintron hurt. Yeah, well, you know what? Cintron's bending forward. And taking shots, a good right hand by Margarito. Cintron trying what to What is referee. he doing? I'm he's sorry. Getting hit. Cintron's own fault. You can't referee the fight and fight at the same time. This is about the point in the first fight where the fight started to go out of curve with Cintron, and I wonder if the same thing's happening here. Now we talked about those body shots in round two. How they were going Good to shot. get rid of the movement. With Margarito uh, when he's great losing shot. it. Bad cut now over the right eye of Cintron. So we're and back to where we were in the first fight. Margarita going back Look. to work. And Cintron trying to referee. What is that? That time he bought a call. It's still a risky move. Well, you look at those body shots in round two. We talked about it then. That it's going to shut off the movement later. Well, this is later. And he's not moving. There is wow. Margarita. There goes. Down goes Cintron. You can see that coming. You could see the will just oozing out of Cintron. <laughs> 
He wants him to get up. He wants to give him more. Wow, he ain't getting up. The fight is over. Well, wow. Tremendous body punching, wearing down punishment. And it took him about 30 seconds longer than it took him in the first fight.